He is known for his influential work in astronomy, particularly for his role in overturning Ptolemaic ideas. He is recognized for inspiring many scholars, including Ibn Rushd, with his Aristotelian commentaries. His name is Ibn Tufail. In the ancient city of Guadix, nestled near Granada, a brilliant mind was born. His name was Ibn Tufail, a man of Arab descent from the Qays tribe. From a young age, Ibn Tufail showed great promise and was fortunate to receive an education from the esteemed Ibn Baja. As he grew older, his intellectual prowess caught the attention of prominent leaders, who sought his services as a secretary. He served with distinction, offering his expertise to rulers in Ceuta, Tangier, and eventually Granada. It was during his time as the secretary to the ruler of Granada that Ibn Tufail's path intersected with that of a young Ibn Rushd. Recognizing the potential in the aspiring philosopher, Ibn Tufail recommended Ibn Rushd as his own successor, setting the stage for the latter's illustrious career. Inspired by Ibn Tufail's wisdom and guidance, Ibn Rushd went on to write his famous Aristotelian commentaries, forever influenced by his mentor. Ibn Tufail's impact extended beyond the realm of philosophy. He also delved into the field of astronomy, where he challenged the prevailing Ptolemaic ideas. This groundbreaking endeavor, known as the Andalusian Revolt, sparked a paradigm shift and inspired countless scholars to embrace the Aristotelian system of astronomy. Among his disciples was the accomplished astronomer Nur ed-Din al Batruji, who followed in Ibn Tufail's footsteps, further advancing the field. Throughout his life, Ibn Tufail's brilliance attracted the attention of many, leaving an indelible mark on Islamic philosophy, literature, medicine, and astronomy. His influence touched the lives of prominent figures such as Abu Abdullah Muhammad B. Alabar, Abd al Wahid al Marakushi, Ahmed Muhammad al Makari, and Ibn al Khatib, who built upon his ideas and expanded the frontiers of knowledge. As the years passed, Ibn Tufail's service to the Almohad governors came to an end, and he retired in 1182. His final days were spent in Morocco, where he breathed his last breath in 1185. But his intellectual legacy endured, inspiring generations to come, and his contributions to Islamic astronomy and philosophy continue to shape the world of knowledge to this day. Ibn Tufail, the author of Ibn Yaqn, also known as Philosophus Autodidactus, was a philosopher who shared his profound insights through a philosophical romance and allegorical novel. Inspired by Avicenism and Sufism, the story revolves around Hay, an autodidactic feral child who was raised by a gazelle and lived alone on a desert island. Without any contact with other human beings, Hay embarks on a journey of self-discovery and attains ultimate truth through reasoned inquiry. As Hay's story unfolds, he eventually encounters civilization and religion when he meets a castaway named Absol. Through his experiences, Hay comes to understand that certain trappings of religion, such as imagery and dependence on material goods, are necessary for the well-being of society. However, he recognizes that these external elements can also be distractions from the truth. Hay believes that those who possess reason should abandon these distractions and focus on the pursuit of truth. Ibn Tufail's novel, Philosophus Autodidactus, was written in response to Al-Ghazali's The Incoherence of the Philosophers. By presenting Hay as a self-taught philosopher, Ibn Tufail challenges the traditional philosophical discourse of his time. The novel not only influenced Arabic literature but also had a profound impact on European literature. It became a bestseller in Western Europe during the 17th and 18th centuries and played a significant role in shaping both classical Islamic philosophy and modern Western philosophy. The ideas expressed in Philosophus Autodidactus also had a lasting impact beyond the realm of literature. It became one of the important books that heralded the scientific revolution and the European Enlightenment. The concepts explored in the novel can be found in the works of renowned thinkers such as Thomas Hobbes, John Locke, Isaac Newton, and Immanuel Kant. In fact, Ibn Tufail's work even inspired other literary masterpieces. Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe, a famous desert island narrative, may have drawn inspiration from the story of Hay Ibn Yaqin. Additionally, the novel introduced the concept of tabula rasa, or the blank slate, which later influenced John Locke's an essay concerning human understanding. Furthermore, Hay's contemplation on materialism in the novel bears similarities to Karl Marx's historical materialism. Ibn Tufail's exploration of these philosophical themes continues to provide valuable insights into our understanding of divinity, morality, and the human condition. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.